Hey everybody, and how are y'all this evening? Oh, it's almost, I guess, 5 o'clock, Tuesday evening. I went and did labs at 2 and then ran to the store, and I'm exhausted. Um, I was actually going to take my chemo a few minutes ago, and I was going to do it while I was talking to y'all. Because my husband, there it is, my husband thinks that I'm not taking it this cycle. And he'll say, I want to watch you take it tomorrow. But then when tomorrow comes, he forgets. But I honestly, I've taken it uh, Sunday, Monday, yesterday, and then just now. Oh, and where I was going with that, sorry. He called right when I was thinking about doing a video. So I could be like, nah, look, I took it. And he called, he video called me. So I was like, perfect timing. I'm fixed to take my medicine. A patch. But um, anyway, so yeah. It's just been, even though it's Tuesday, it's been like my typical Monday. Usually Mondays are horrid for me. Um, but today is horrid for me, so I just, I don't know. It's like ever since I was diagnosed, I just, because I guess I view everything, everything so differently. Life, people, relationships, just everything. That, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like I get my feelings like a little more hurt or something. I don't know. I don't know. I take every th so much stuff to heart. But I just do it because I don't know. I don't know what I have left. I don't know how many birthdays, how many celebrations, how many Mother's Day. How, I just, I don't know. I mean, none of us do. But you're dealing with what I'm dealing with. You really don't know. And it's usually not good. And I've always said that that's okay and I'm okay to go home whenever God calls me. It's just what I want to do with the time between now and then. So, but like I said, I just, I tend to get my feelings hurt a lot more, disappointed a lot more. I don't know, I guess people, I expect people to you know, want to celebrate um, the days and special occasions as much as I do or the way I do or whatever. And I mean, I know I can't make people do that, but it just makes me feel like I'm the only one that treasures that time. And I know that's not true. I know it's not with my children. I definitely know it's not with my mother. But I just still feel that way sometimes. And then I take it out on them. I don't, I don't take it out on them, but I end up telling them, listen, this is how I feel, and I know you're not going to like it, but I'm sorry. You know, you really hurt my feelings, or you really disappointed me, or, you know, whatever. Um, and sometimes they're like, um, you know, I'm sorry, and sometimes they're like, you're just having a bad day, you'll get over it. <laughs> So, but, um, so I don't know. I basically told a bunch of friends today that, and my kids and my mother, that I'm just turning my phone off and I just need to be left alone. I need some time. I'm still trying to figure this out. So, but, um, anyways, so that's enough about that, but, so y'all know how my husband brings me flowers home every single Friday, well, and we left for Austin early Saturday morning, so he didn't bring flowers home Friday, but my birthday was the 14th and our anniversary was the 17th, so, and he gave me beautiful flowers, so. I didn't say anything about it. Um, anyways, so today he comes home from work, and he's like, well, 
he's like, I didn't bring you flowers Friday. And he said, so I brought them today. So, let's see if I can. Aren't they beautiful? But anyways, just thought I'd share that with y'all. So, but other than that, um, I'm feeling okay. Like I said, I just took chemo just now 15 minutes ago or so, and it doesn't take long before I start feeling horrible. I actually have been craving a McChicken with cheese from McDonald's. <laughs> I don't know why, y'all. And um, so I told my husband when he was done working that if my chemo hadn't made me too ucky that um, that's what I wanted. I'm sorry. So, anyways, but that's that. So, okay, I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to try to lay down and rest and just watch a little bit of TV and just kind of deal with myself and deal with everything that I need to. And I'll get through it. I always have. I always do. I always will. Um, you know, it is what it is. Like the saying goes, if you're not feeling, you're living or something like that. If you're not feeling, you're not living. <laughs> well, I'm tired of feeling sometimes, so. But, and I did have, I was able to keep my weight at like 90.2, 90.5, 90.7 for like a week. And today it was 88 pounds, so. I just hate it. I hate the way I look. Everything's so bony. It's disgusting. But. Oh, well. I still wake up every day. My eyes still open every day. So that's a good thing. So I'm blessed for that. But anyways, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. Uh, Tuesday night. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. I love you. And I still love you, Molly and Madison, even if I yell at you. I know that. Bye, guys.